In this video, we'll find the vertex and the axis of symmetry of each of the following quadratic functions and graph each graph, which is the parabola. First, I want to talk about what is a quadratic function. A quadratic function is in the form of f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a cannot be equal to 0. Otherwise, it will be a linear function. If your a is positive, then your graph is a parabola facing up. If your a is a negative number, then your graph is a parabola facing down. The highest or the lowest, here we have the lowest, or the highest point of the parabola is called the vertex. And the line that is cutting the graph in two symmetrical parts, which is this line, is called axis of symmetry. If your quadratic function is in the form of f of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k, then the vertex of this quadratic function is h k and the axis of symmetry is the equation of x equals h. With this in mind, let's talk about the three uh, problems. For the first quadratic function, it is in the vertex form because you can see it as f of x equals negative x minus 0 squared minus 5. So here you can see your a is negative 1, your h is 0, your k is negative 5. Okay, so this will be a parabola facing down, right? Because A is negative. Your vertex will be 0, negative 5. And your axis of symmetry will be the line X is equal to 0. Now let's look at B. Here, this equation, or this function, g of x, this is in the vertex form because you can see it as 3 times x minus 4 squared plus 0, where your a is 3, h is 4, and k is 0, if you put it in the vertex form. Since A is positive, you will have a parabola facing up. And your H is 4, K is 0. That means your vertex is 4, 0. And the axis of symmetry is X equals 4. It's a vertical line. Okay, for C here. This equation, or this function, is also in the vertex form because you can see the a is negative 1 half, this is the a, and your h here is, you can see it as x minus negative 5 squared, right? So h here is actually the opposite of what you see here is negative 5 and k is 3. So you will have a graph that is facing downwards because your a is negative and your vertex is, if we graph it, it's negative 5, 3. Right? It's this point and you will have a graph that's facing down kind of like this. That's your parabola.